Hey. Oh, it's a builder. I was so excited. <laughs> we have the red man of the west player, Mustafa, on the left. Against the blue goblin player, Exilion, on the left side. It's a nice matchup. I like this matchup a lot. I like the clash of, of good and evil quite a lot. You know, that's my favorite in Battle for Middle Earth games. I also like that in BFME 1 and in Rise of the Witch King. If two tunnels start coming up for goblins and two farms coming up for Man of the West. And Man of the West seems a faction which always goes for like a offensive barracks all the time. Frauds of Uzengard. <laughs> Have bracket link? No, no, no. The bracket link is also not existing yet. Um, is that even a Forts of Ice in 1? No, not in Battle for Middle Earth 2. I also don't know, don't ask me, why this is actually called Forts of Ice in 2. For no reason. Doesn't make sense to me either. Because, I, like I said, I was literally making the teams earlier in the stream. And then we, was, we were just jumping into the game. Between Mustafa and Ectilion. That's why we have not a bracket yet. But it will be done, don't worry. I got you. So he's going for a defensive barracks around the fortress interesting four tunnels for goblins so it's a very economical opening for goblins and he's building a spider pit right off the bat i think i will win oh my dude this chat is always the best thing in the game you know what i'm saying Unfortunately, unlike in Rise of, unlike in Battle for Middle of One, you have like a mute option, right? In BFME One, you can mute the players, and that's not possible in BFME Two. Also, in BFME Two, you cannot click on the on the heroes or on the upgrades as Observer. That's not possible. So Archer range coming up right after that. So he's gonna use the you know Gondor soldiers for like offensive style and archers for like defending himself. But he doesn't know that um, Ectilion is building up a spider pit for the spider links. I believe spider links are great for harassment when it comes to deal economical damage, but they are kind of weak against archers, if I'm not mistaken. Who will play after this one? Uh, who I will play after Son Goku? Um, yeah, again, the bracket has to decide that. So I will be pre pretty much uh, putting all the names in a, in, a, in the challenge website, and it's gonna just match automatically, randomly, your next opponent. Oh, the thief, the thief, the builder is stealing a money. Leave it in ruins. Oh, but it's... Okay, never mind. He's also gonna get away. Archers, archers, finish him off. Dude, if you kill the builder after he steals the treasure from you, it's the best thing because builders are extremely expensive. They cost 400 each. And even more for the Man of the West faction. So... Neo, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Not even close. True that. True that. So the works in BFME 2, they are also able to trample down your tower guards. But when they trample you, they will also take damage in return. The revenge damage, it's called. Spider links on the field now. We have Goblin Cave into the second Goblin Cave coming up for the Goblin Spam. Spider links are quite um, slippery. You know what I'm saying? They are extremely hard to target because they are so kind of small hit points, you know, hitbox. And also, they are so freaking fast. But he needs to be careful because of archers and he's peeling now, which is the right call. You cannot fight this, so just get away. It's offensive creeping. He was creeping this one and this one right after. And that's the reason why he has two power points collected already, while Ectilion has zero power points collected. This is exactly how I lost versus Inumara, okay? Ectilion is admitting his, you know, misplay. Fissure is coming up next. It's a fissure for a, for a cave troll slash for a half troll pikeman, if he needs that. And there is an attack happening. He has the human wood. And uh, we have keef pads available. So he's going to use keef pads to nullify the bonuses the soldiers and tower guards are gaining from the human wood. They will now lose the bonuses. And also on top of that, they will lose a quarter of their DPS and a quarter of their tankiness. Spider links against soldiers. They should be able to win. It's a 2v1 situation. The goblin keef number one is going down. Not bad. And Arch is coming up now for the follow up. The future is up on the field, but it's going to be a little bit too late. Remember, cave trolls, they cost 600. It is uh, a, lot, it's a lot of money at the beginning of the game, you know? Especially when you lose your talents like that. I like tournaments with players medium level. <laughs> nice flank here behind with the poison blades into the arches. And he knows, you know? 
in this kind of situations you cannot disengage goblins are gonna outrun you and catch you so when you know you cannot run away just stay and deal at least some damage in return Fissure upgrade is incoming for the level 2 for the Afterall Pikemen. We might see Gondonites very, very soon, but not for now. Man of the West play is expanding quite nicely at the bottom side. He has a farm here, here, and also around his fortress, obviously. He has 500 command points, the Goblin player, and the Man of the West play has 550 command points for now. He's also expanding more and more and more and more. Maybe Boromi. There we go. Boromi is on the field already. Boromi has the stun. The Horn of Gondor with level 3. Uh, but... Trust me, he will be able to level up to level 3 in no time. The attack is going to happen. The thing is that these units are, are never going to be able to catch those spiderlings. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you will need some archers for defense. He has only one oh, single archer power. that's not going to be enough. Poromia is almost level 2. And if he creeps the, uh, the Vork layer, and if he gets the last on the layer, he will be level 3 in no time. And goblins are actually expanding quite nicely. He was also able to find and destroy this farm at the bottom left side. The builder is getting in safety by building a farm. But the farm placement is bad. So you don't want to build farms like that and kind of destroy the amount of money you will get. So when it comes to build farms, there is like a golden rule, unspoken rule in Rise of the Vision. You want to make sure that they are around the 97 plus percent mark. You know, this way you can get the maximum value of the farm. But in BFME 2, it's not the case most of the time because the buildings are way squishier. You will see the players building these farms or any resource building really around the fortress floors, which is this one, because this area is protected by the fortress. So you will offer some, so some sort of you know defense at the beginning of the game. Especially those tunnels, they are extremely squishy. We guard the White Tower. We guard the White Tower. Okay, he might creep this one. Nice, Sue. I mean, Mustafa is creeping quite a lot. He was creeping this, 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 and now this one as well. So he was literally creeping nearly all the creeps on the map for Sufficing already. That's pretty nice. I believe the only creep um, Ethereum was getting is this creep here at the bottom right side. That's all about it. But we have a huge army now with half troll pikemen, they are extremely tanky. We have a troll with you know with a tree in his hands for more splash damage. And we have only Gondor archers, so no transition yet into the Rangers. Boromia is now level 4. Level 5 is needed for his leadership, which is a damage leadership. That can that means it can stack with the Elvin Wood, which is an armor buff. So it can use Elvin Wood and you know have the leadership at the same time. Soldier battalion, okay, Vorjan has been used off, off screen. This out. way, the enemy units are not able to see these units glowing anymore. So we see them glowing, but Gondo doesn't see them glowing. He doesn't know if they are buffed. Buff and debuff at the same time. Beautiful hit with the troll. Look, the front line is the tower guards. They are actually not even hurting this troll for whatever reason. And smash, and smash, and smash once again. Boromir is coming in clutch with the fear effect. He's going for the Hobbit summon. He needs to stun them now. Do 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 do. And Horn of Gondor will be blown for a global stun. Not global stun, but it's affecting the nearby enemy units. However, the monsters are immune to that. But in BFME 2, when you use Cloud Break, it's going to turn the trolls into stones for several seconds. The Hobbits are no match against the Cave Trolls. The Cave Trolls are smashing everything on the ground. Even Boromir cannot stand up. And look, he's going to lose a lot of HP now. Because he is disabled all the time. He's knocked down on the ground all the time. He can le le legit not move. The Rohirrim is coming in clutch. But what can the Rohirrim do against enemy pikemen and trolls? Double counter. And Boromir, the captain of Kondo, has no chance of getting on his foot. Because he's on the ground and kissing the ground all the time. Frodo Baggins. Uh, that's, that's Frodo Baggins. What can Frodo Baggins do? <laughs> Nothing. Holy moly, guys. Uh, what a fight here from the Goblin player. What an impressive fight. But the level 2 tunnel is going to be found. It's going to be definitely taken down. There is zero protection for this one. The troll is finally going down. But Boromir has been killed. Overall, I would say there was a great fight for the Goblin player. The Hobbit Summon was also used for this one. So it's pretty fine, pretty nice. 
Now we have 8 power points collected for goblins and we have also 8 power points collected for men of the west. However, he went for the 10 after the 5. So he has human wood, hobbits and almost 9 power points after that. He's sitting on 750 command points right now. And we have the same command points also for Ectilion, the goblin player on the right side. So back and forth, back and forth. Great fight for Ectilion, but nothing is decided yet. Um, you need to, you know, every fight you fight in the middle of the map is not very important. The follow-up is extremely important because in this game it's not about the fight you lose, it's about the damage you deal to the enemy structures and economy, you know? And now the follow-up is extremely important. He's going now, he's going to deal a lot of damage to the economy from the goblin play. He will be losing several of these tunnels and that's what hurts the most. Now we have a counter-attack. He has the Wildman of Dunland ability available from the spellbook. Spear throw is coming in clash, splash damage, it will be able to kill one spider rider only, but Elma is able to level up like crazy. He has the Horse Lord with level 3 for additional armor buff for the nearby Gondor Knights and Rohirrim. Human Wood was used once again. He might be forced to use... Oh, but beautiful! Into the backline. The Spider Riders are coming in clutch and the disabling effect from the Cave Troll with the tree in his hands is actually amazing for the Goblin player Ectelion. He's doing such a great and amazing work disabling and knocking these units on the ground 24-7. Cave Pets available for the worst case scenario. Arches unprotected. Ectelion knows the weakness of the strategy of Mustafa. Mustafa is a player who doesn't like to recruit tower guards. He doesn't like to recruit any pikemen from any faction. For that reason, his archers are gonna be free food for the goblin spider riders all the time. Wait, I have a sub now? You gotta give that sub, teammate. I mean, uh, Fener, uh, you know, Fenerbahce fan. It's, a, it's like me, you know, a Turkish guy living in Germany was dropping into the stream and was giving away like 35 gifted subs to the channel. And you are one of the lucky winners, teammate. Alright. So the trolls are MVPs for sure. Trust me, they are like MVPs for sure. Beautiful hits coming in clutch. Tainted land will be used on the ground for another buff for the spider riders. They will give you, I mean, it will give you the same stats like the human wood does. Ranger summon was used, but the Ranger summon got crushed already. The trolls, I mean, that's why you will need more tower guards or you will need more rangers from the archer range level 2. Boromir against Whiteman of Thunland. He's almost level 5. The troll is unkillable, dude. What's going on? What's going on? I'm joking. The stable level 2 to the half troll pikemen. Remember, the pikemen are dealing greater and increased damage to the enemy production buildings. So it's not only about the HP a building guard, right? For example, this one has like 4,000 HP, but it doesn't really matter anything. It's about the armor set. Sometimes you have like 10,000 HP, but you get one shot from a hero, for example, because you have like less armor against this specific amount of type of damage, you know? And in this very case, we are talking about the pikeman damage against production buildings. They deal bonus damage to that. And goblins are dealing bonus damage to the farm. So the farm is going to be eventually taken down. We have now... A hero and his name is Gorkiel the Goblin King with his machete and like a skull totem in his hands. Look how handsome he's looking like. This guy has, you know, easy time on the girls. Trust me on that one. And all of a sudden the game is turning around once again. We have 700 command points available for Man of the West, but he's actually losing a lot of momentum, a lot of presence on the map. And we have also Shilop, the Spider Queen. And there is like a so funny story about Shilop. In German language, he's called Kenkra. Like, she has a different name in the German language. It's just like Frodo Baggins, for example, you know? If Frodo Baggins is called Frodo Beutlin in, in German. And me, I was a kid when I was watching The Lord of the Rings. And for many, many years, I was only... Uh, Shelly, 57, thanks for the, for the sub for the second month, my dude. Thank you so much for the huge support. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, man. Nice stream. Trust you on that one. I trust you on that one. And you are amazing. Trust me on that one. Thanks for the huge spot to the channel. Alright, the Shilop is actually on the hunt. She's chasing down Elma and his Rohirrim all the time. And Grace, yeah. I mean, that's what she was called in the films. In German language. It's kind of confusing. Also, Pokemon names, for example. Like, they, were, they are so different. And, you know, when you watch this only in German language and then you meet somebody from a different country and you talk about the subject, he will tell you names like, what's, what's that? You know? Because you always have these German names in, in mind. 
Uh, Lanos, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Lanos, welcome to the stream. And everybody, guys, who's tuning in for the first time in 2022, my friends, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. I wish you, of course, the very best for a new year. Hopefully, all your wishes will come true and you will get the chance to hit like a truck as much as you want in your life. As well as showing your quality while shining bright like a diamond. I trust you on that one. I think you will have a fantastic year. To be honest, it can't be much worse in 2021 about the global pandemic situation and stuff like that. So I have high expectations. Hopefully, it's going to be a great year for every single one of us. Huge Goblin Army. I need to remove the Q from my keyboard, Toxic Key. Watching has been used. Key pass is available. 15 power points almost collected. The beautiful trample, you know, the shield off is diving into deep. The power points, you see the power points are rising. And once again, what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Mustafa is too greedy. He doesn't like to recruit tower guards. And if he does, they are so far away from the main army. The watch is available now. The watcher can't, might come in clutch. But he doesn't even need to use the watch in a situation like that. What can Rohirrim do against this many spider riders? We need to spam pikes at this point. Just spam pikes. Because what's the main army? The watcher is coming in clutch regardless into the Rohirrim army and wiping out even the own spider riders the watcher doesn't care about friend and foe trust me on that one he will hit everything extremely hard whoever steps next to it and 975 command points available for the goblin player the man of test players 1000 but what's the matter if you have no units you can you know rely on just spam more tower guards spam more tower guards when you this when you see spider links when you see many many spider riders there is no need to not go for more tower guards it's like a counter system you know rock paper scissors that is call him by the way if you kill him this guy is like unkillable by the way 12,000 hp come on now then he will drop the one ring and you will get the chance to recruit galadriel or sauron however in battle for middle earth 2 they are like uh, not like uh, Mayas, they are like Valars, you know what I'm saying? They are like er Eru Uliwatar, they are like the gods of Middle-earth. Alright, so 16 power points collected, huh? After the Ranger summon. So he might go for it for the fast way of 25, so 5, 10, 15, 25, you know? Maybe that's the plan. And I also don't know who is actually stronger, the, the Spider Riders or the Rohirrim. I mean, the Rohirrim, they need some sort of leadership, if I'm not mistaken. That's why you need Elma. And Boromir has been taken down once again. That's a huge Spider Rider army, and you need to kind of take care of that. Which is easier said than done. Shilop is regenerating her health over time. Skull Totem is on the ground. Skull Totem was also giving you additional armor and experience. It's an armor buff similar to the Tainted Land. And with level 5 or 4, you will unlock the armor inspiring leadership. Which also, by the way, works on trolls. So, auto heal plus 50 the nearby trolls, and they will also level up 25% faster. So, there are not. Okay, Gun uh, not Gandalf, but Boromir has returned. Boromir the White. And you see the devastating army with the Weapon of Tunland Summon. The Weapon are taking care of the Tower Guards, and the Spider Riders are just keeping the distance by shooting from. with the bows, you know? Spear Throw is coming in clutch. Pew! Spear Throw on the Weapon of Tunland Army. There are some pikes you need to avoid. Elma is level 4 now, level 6 is needed for the Outlaw leadership, which means money, money, money every time you kill enemy units. Gorkid is almost level 4 for additional armor leadership for these units, they are extremely important. And Egalau for the, for the tier 1 for 5 months, my dude. Thank you so much for the huge spot, man. Thank you, thank you. Egala just resubscribed for 5 months. Ahoy. Hey, my guy. Happy New Year. Keep Happy New Year to you as, my, as well, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subbing now for five months in a row. That's crazy. Thanks for all the support. It means a lot. Thank you. 12,000, yeah, yeah. 12,000 HP for the, for the Golem, you know? But to be, to be honest, it kind of makes sense because Golem is so extremely important and the ring heroes are kind of like a Exodia from, you know, when you have like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you have like Exodia, you know, the insta-win. That's how the ring heroes are feeling like in Battle for Middle-earth 2. Oh, look, look. Oh, he killed Gollum. All right. Dude, go for it. Go for it. But you need 10,000. The, the builder, I will restore hope for men. I heard Aragorn, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I would like to see Aragorn, Elend you know, the Elendil's heir. You know, like, obviously the king with the Anduril. Can I make Sauron? Of course you can make. The ring heroes are enabled. That's why we, do, we don't disable the ring heroes. I've never seen that, by the way, guys. I've never seen that. I've never seen in a multiplayer game, in, a, in an actual tournament game, anybody recruiting ring heroes. Never seen this before. I want to see that. 
I want to show you guys because the animations of these ring heroes abilities, trust me on that one, is something next level. Next level. Oh, the, the fear, the instill terror. She has also like the web of Ungoliant, you know, pretty much like a, like a Spider-Man kind of style. The power points are rising to the sky. The ring dropped and Elma, the horse lord of Rohan is taking the ring. He's like, I am the ring master. And imagine if now we will get the chance. Dude, he stole the ring, chat. He stole the ring. Cash, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Welcome to the streamer, dude. He's like, I am going to recruit Galadriel now. No Sauron for you, but Galadriel for me. Hey, what? Why are you getting dismounted? No, why are you getting dismounted? Are you driving me crazy, my dude? What? He got dismounted. Now he's gonna die to the goblins. Why would you do that? The spiderlings. Elma, does he have heal? Go for heal. I don't care. No. <laughs> Why? I don't know why. You answer me, my friend. It's a huge Spider Rider army. What an absolute clown fiesta game. Now the fight, the war of the ring has started. You know what I'm saying, guys? The war of the ring. Discount his smart move. <laughs> All right. How much money does he have? Dude, he has nearly 4,000 and 10,000. And boom, you have Sauron, the Dark Lord himself on the field, ladies and gentlemen. But he has 26 power points collected. Can he defend this force? That's a huge army. He's going to summon the rangers now defensively. I don't know about the spider rider army, man. What can you do against that? Aragorn is coming, but the ring is on the fortress of the goblin player. He's going for the cloud break next. He needs to glo global stun them, yes. But there are no tower guards. If you, uh, What is the matter of, of stunning them? If you cannot kill them, don't hurt what you can't kill. Tom Bombadil will be special summoned. What a messy and absolutely fiesta game. 25 power points collected also for the goblins. Come on, Exilion, we are counting on you. Don't summon Balrog, but summon the other Meyer, who is the Dark Lord Sauron himself. But he's summoning the Balrog. And the Balrog, the demon from the ancient world, will be special summon, ladies and gentlemen. Creative crap. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're going to enjoy your stay. You are coming just right in time to see eventually something which was never seen before in any of the tournaments I've been hosting for BFME 2. Oh, beautiful spear smite ability here on from Elma. The breath fire from Balrog is coming in clutch against the level 3 Barax, which is tanky. The fire whip deals crazy amount of damage to the structures in this game, by the way. And it's going down. We have Hobbit, some Hobbit song in the background. Somewhere he's summoning hobbits. Aragorn is here. He's waiting. He's waiting for his biggest rival in the universe of Middle-earth. And that's, of course, Sauron. We never got the chance to see Aragorn against Sauron in a one-on-one -on -one situation in the films. But we might get the chance to see that actually in this game. And look at the money from the Goblin play. He's getting closer and closer and closer. He needs 10,000 and he needs only 3,000 plus a bit more than that for the Dark Lord. And I would love to show you guys. And he doesn't even need to recruit any more units. Because look how much damage he was already able to deal to the Man of the West player. Who is not even anywhere close to the fortress. It looks like he's giving up this area for no reason. He has a lot of money though. He has a lot of money because his command points kept. He cannot invest the money into any... Oh, the White Man of Dunland is stealing the money. The Rohirrim are coming. The Rohirrim are gonna get fired. You are fired. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> wrecked yeah wrecked indeed oh what a timing with the breath fire in the last five seconds of balrog he's wiping out the entire rohirrim army and but the fortress is safe the fortress is safe and he have 850 command points available for the man of the west player now is the time for him to make something in return but ladies and gentlemen do you see the money and the amount of resources the government players collected he's 1000 resources away only to recruit for the first time ever the Dark Lord in the very first game in the round of 16 of the tournament for $100 for BFME 2. Aragorn is using his Blade Master. He needs more than that. By the way, if Aragorn, uh, Aragorn with level 5 gets passively the Anduril Sword for additional damage and increased movement speed. Maybe with, Ar I don't know. I have no clue if he can match Sauron. I mean, it's gonna be tough because this Sauron is not like the Sauron from Rise of the Witch King. You gotta trust me on that one. He has like 20 abilities, guys. He can summon multiple Balrogs, and you have seen what one Balrog can do. The Sauron can summon two Balrogs, but I don't want to spoil too much. I want you to see yourself. Hey, hey, 
is he going now he's canceled he went for the drug off now he cancels him and ladies and gentlemen as we are talking right now the dark lord is being recruited the dark lord i don't know how much time he needs he needs a while it's not like he can join like in 30 seconds you know what i'm saying the recruit time is pretty long but it's a matter of time it's a matter of time all right aragon is almost level five that's going to be extremely funny Ooh, guys, that's gonna be quite funny. Elma is around this area. Man of the West plays great amount of map control. Maybe he's actually going for Gandalf himself. I'm actually expecting Gandalf. And dude, that's gonna be something else. Because then you will get the chance to see Aragorn and Gandalf side by side against the Dark Lord Sauron. Okay, Boromir is level 7. Guide the strength of man. Oh, he will guide the strength of man. Look at the animation of the fortress when Gandalf is coming. But we have the white wizard. It has to be good for something. Maybe Pippin was right, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have Gandalf and Aragorn and Sauron in one single game. Holy guacamole, guys. That's gonna be something else. I'm waiting patiently. I'm waiting patiently because that's gonna be my first time ever seeing the ring heroes in a multiplayer game. I've never seen them before. I was recruiting them myself against AI. But that's all about it, you know? Armor is level 2. That's a huge goblin army. I mean, Gandalf, um, unlike in Battle for Middle of 1, you cannot turn him to Gandalf to wind with like one ability, you know? You need to get him to level 4 or 5, rather, to have your ability unlocked. You can use Shield Bubble by pressing W, which will give you the knockback resistance and also additional armor. Edward, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Aragon died, really? Oh man, Aragon died. I didn't. Oh! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, no, cancel, 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 cancel. Hey, Horn of Condor and do it. You know, Horn of Condor. Well, also, Boromir is there, if I'm not mistaken. Go, Gandalf, 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 Gandalf. Give, do it, do it. Do it. It's goblins only, though. He won't get too much experience. Boom! Level 3 instantly. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, it's a builder. I was so excited. <laughs> It's only a builder. Hey, Gandalf, get mounted with level 3 and get out. Run, you fool. Run, you fool. All right, run, run. Okay. <laughs> Jabated. Yeah, the builder, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's me. Surprise. Okay, level 3 has the lightning sword, but we need to have him at least level 7 for the Easter Light. Level 5 is going to turn him into Gandalf tonight. And again, faster recharge time and stuff like that. Aragorn has to be revived too. I mean, he has the fortress is quite low. Oh, it's Gorkil the Gob. Dude, every time I see something in the in the fountain or the fortress, rather, I make... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness, man. Stop it. Don't give me hope all the time, dude. Don't give me hope all the time. Okay, Gandalf is looking for a wizard plus. Gandalf is looking for a wizard... Boom, son. What a beautiful wizard plus this was. Holy moly. Nice. Oh my goodness, man. What a beautiful and juicy Visa Plus. Almost level 5. Level 5 is going to turn Gandalf the Grey into Gandalf the White. Keep this in mind. Hey, 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 hey. It's the master. Make way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the legendary moment you will tell your grandchildren in 50 years from now. It's one of these days in the in the first days of january 2022 in which we see a tournament in dfme 2 and in the very first series in the round of 16 we see the dark lord sauron and dude look watch this now please hey that means bal rocks bal rocks do you see that that's like a plural you know what i'm saying it's not like someone bal rock bal rocks you have also fires of doom calls down many molten rocks in an area around sauron then you have the terrible fury for the for the fear. Then you have the war of power. Yes, you heard it right. And then last but not least, the ring of power. Sauron creates an influx of shadow and flame, constantly damages surrounding enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be something like a truck, dude. Like a truck. That's gonna be something else. Where is Gandalf at? Gandalf, you need to face against him. But he's not level five yet. What can Gandalf the Great do against against Sauron the Great? We have Boromir, the captain of Gondor, who is trying to show his quality. Against the Dark Master himself. It's a Cloud Break now, but it doesn't... Oh, Army of the Dead? Can Army of the Dead actually hurt this guy? I don't think so, right? I don't think Army of the Dead can even touch him. Boromir is... <laughs> Boromir, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Boromir, don't even try him. Don't even try him. You have no chance. 
The hobbits, though, maybe the hobbits from the Shire can do something. Oof, the animations. Boom. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, welcome to the battle for Middle Earth 2, patch 1.09, version 2.0, in which the Dark Lord is summoning not one, but two Balrogs on the field at the same time. Imagine you time it with the Balrog from your spellbook. You have three Balrogs at the same time on your, your control, dude. Can you imagine that for a single second? How crazy this would look like? Seems a bit OP, yeah. Uh, that, I mean, a bit. He's now gonna do some other shenanigans. Boom! <laughs> what, what is this? What am I watching right now? I don't understand what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't see anything. Elma is burning. That's what I can see. Oh, Elma plus 600 for, from Skyvenger. Gandalf is actually resistant. The Balrog is like Gandalf, you fool. You are not Gandalf the Wild, you are Gandalf the Dead. Tom Bombadil has also no chance against the mightiest being in Middle Earth. And Sauron, ladies and gentlemen, look at this animation. Look at that. I believe that's gonna be a huge YouTube video, by the way, guys. So, Balindru, you know what to do for tomorrow. We need to upload this video for, t for tomorrow on YouTube. Definitely, this one deserves to be on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I did not click on my hero. It's the last famous words of Mustafa. And not only the game is over, but the series is over. Ectelion winning 3-0 against Mustafa.